Let's not make any prejudgments about what is reality. Uh, we, you know, we already know, uh, back in the 16th century or the 15th century, the notion that there were tiny little creatures swimming around in our bodies, causing infection and making us ill, um, was completely incredible and unbelievable. It was considered to be obviously wrong, you know, until somebody invented optical glass and the microscope. And we actually started seeing these things, these bacteria. We know, we know about them now. Common. We accept that we can't see them with our eyes, but we have a lens that we can apply, and we can see them, and we know that they're, that they're there. Well, it may be the same uh, with, um, with, with the hallucinogens, that what they're really doing is applying a lens to the brain, a kind of internal lens, if you like, rather than, you know, let's not think of an external instrument, let's think of, of a, 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 an internal instrument. Perhaps that's what hallucinogens are there applying a lens to the brain to enable us to see more of reality than we can see with our everyday senses, just as a microscope or a telescope enable us to see more of reality than we see with our everyday senses. So I, I, I think that if our society was not so, you know, rigidly stuck in the materialistic framework, um, then we would be welcoming the opportunity to do wide-ranging research into the mysterious nature of reality using these incredible agents for altering consciousness. Uh, but up till now, nobody's really doing that. Uh, yeah. I hope it will come.